Right, uh, but we've got good practices as, as well. This has come from the Labour, the Austrian Labour Inspectorate, where they've tried to mainstream gender into the work of their own labour inspectors, both in the working lives of the labour inspectors, but doing some thing, simple things by providing them with training and then checklists, so when they go into the workplace, to ask themselves things like, is the advice I'm going to give in this workplace, is it going to be relevant for both the men and the women in that workplace? So one of our roles is to collect and share information, and this, these are the sorts of examples we're looking for. Right, I'll skip over that one. Right, um, now we're, we're a small agency, we're very keen on cooperating. In 2004, we already held a joint seminar um, to bring together people from the equalities field and from the health and safety field to discuss the re report that I mentioned. And we started talking about some of the challenges um, to mainstream gender into occupational safety and health. So these are some of the things that we could look at to see how we could take forward together, in fact. Um, so I mentioned some of the issues about the, then the immediate suspicion and once you talk about gender in health and safety at work and the misunderstandings that have to be overcome, etc. But it's not time to go into that, but it's be an interesting area to, I think, to work with you in exchange on. We have a website on occupational gender and, and health issues. And you can't, at the bottom, we've, you see, we included the um, logo, uh, the link to the European Year of um, Equal Opportunities and Diversity. And that's another area where we like to use our website to share and exchange information and make links to other ar areas. So that's why I highlight that. Um, So we're cur currently carrying out a, um, a further pro project of our risk observatory to, to look further into issues of um, gender and occupational safety and health. It'll be and we also try to mainstream gender into our own work work program by, as I've said, carrying out gender specific studies. Um, but also we try and make sure there's a balance in our projects, that we don't only look at accidents in construction and accidents in agriculture or fishing, that we also do projects, for example, on the healthcare sector or, or cleaners or other sectors where there's a pre predominance of women work workers and get the balance between looking at accidents and looking at ill health problems that affect women more. And then the, when we're our observatory pro projects, we try to always include gender in, in that as one of the, the features that we look at. Right, so uh, within our um, uh, a, um, regulation, we've got that we should be working very closely with other institutions, foundations, etc. So that gives us the basis for cooperation. Um, so just to finish off, the sort of things we're looking, we'll be looking for is a formal cooperation agreement with, your, with yourselves. Um, I'll skip over that, sorry. Yeah, so a formal cooperation agreement, um, but then technical collaboration of um, how to improve gender mainstreaming and occupational safety health, but also exchange of information. And we're very pleased that we've already been able to pass on to you um, information that we've been doing on, on violence in, in the workplace. So the cooperation has, in fact, already begun. Um, but also this idea of um, sharing our contacts, sharing our, our networks, um, joint meetings, um, etc. So I think there's a good basis for formal and informal cooperation between us. 
So, just to finish off then, within occupational safety and health, we always say that to create safe, healthy and good quality jobs for a diverse workforce or women at, at work, making it safer and easier jobs for, for women will generally make jobs safer and easier for men too. And we wish to achieve this common goal by working with other, other policy areas and other agencies, um, sharing information and joint work and a more formal cooperation as well. So thank you very much for your, your time. Archu, is that correct? Thank you.